All right, so today is Wednesday, April 29th, and I'm starting to do this video journal slash diary. Um, we are in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic right now. I'm currently furloughed from work, um, so I've been home for the last two months. Um, it's been pretty tough. There's a lot of devastation going on in the world right now. And unfortunately, on top of all of that, the reason I'm making this video is because I am noticing some symptoms with my nine-year-old boxer. His name is Kingston, and he's right here. So yeah, Kingston, he's nine years old. Um, he'll be turning 10 in a few weeks. And um, I have started noticing some um, muscle kind of control of his back legs is going out um he's kind of wobbly he's unsteady he's just not a, not nor not his normal self and this is something that i noticed um probably like maybe three or four months ago something like that and i kind of just didn't think much of it because he's almost 10 he's getting gray you know i just thought you know he's he's getting old and you know dogs move slower they kind of move a little differently and i didn't think much of it until i was taking him for a walk i think two or three days ago and it just seemed more pronounced he was really kind of clumsy he just his hind legs do not seem coordinated at all that's when i was like okay i want to look into this because this, this doesn't seem right you know so i of course googled i think i just googled um boxer dog wobbly hind legs or something like that and of course the first thing that came up um was a very common disease in boxers called degenerative myelopathy and i don't even know if i'm saying that correctly i think i did but i'm not sure degenerative myelopathy and um what it is is a, a spinal cord disease that causes paralysis in the hindquarters. Um, it's very common in German Shepherds and also boxers from what I've seen online. It's incurable and the prognosis is not very good. From what I read, it's like six months to three years, which is kind of a big range. Um, but I think it's more on the low end of that from just some of the stories that I've been reading. Now, the reason I'm doing this diary is because I don't know what's gonna happen here. I don't know if I'm right. I don't, I'm praying that I'm wrong. He hasn't gone to the vet yet, but just from looking at his symptoms and reading about some of the other conditions that it could possibly be, you know, to be realistic, it, it's not looking good. So I just want to document our journey from here on out and whatever happens. Um, Especially because when I was looking for information online, I found a lot of things like from like old forums and message boards and things like that from like 10, like over 10 years ago, stuff like that. I couldn't find like a lot of new information or stories from specific people and exactly like what they went through or, you know, blogs or things like that. Um, definitely there is some information on YouTube, but nothing like a real diary if that makes sense so i just want to share our story whatever that may be whatever it turns out to be um in hopes that you know someone else can relate or you know maybe i'll even find some other people who have gone through this um and you can offer some insights um like i said right now this is just me suspecting this is a possibility of what he has he has not been to the vet yet. I don't even know if the vets are accepting appointments right now, but I'm gonna try to get him in next week um, because I do want to have him um, examined and see if they can rule out some of the other things or hopefully rule out this disease because it sounds like it's not the disease that you want your dog to have, to be honest with you. <laughs> So, yeah, I guess that's kind of the backstory of what you can expect to find on this channel. I don't know when I'm going to get called back into work, so I don't know how much time I'm going to have to upload videos, to edit videos, things like that. But I'm going to try. And, um, yeah, so 
I'm probably going to attach some footage of what I've been seeing with him and what symptoms that I've seen that is making me believe that he might have this disease. We will take things day by day and that's all we can do at this point. So stay tuned. Kingston. Kingston, come here. Hey. He hates being filmed and he hates cameras because I've taken so many pictures of him when he was a puppy that now he hates it. <laughs> so anyways, this is Kingston. He's my my love. Um, I've had him since he was eight weeks old and I don't have kids so he's basically my child. I love him very much so um, again we're just going to document kind of whatever happens. See how he's not flipping his foot back over? Normally the reaction is to automatically flip it over, but he isn't doing that. See, if you tried to do that with the front, they wouldn't let you. See. See, he does it every time. All right, so Kingston is gonna be getting his first vitamin, and I'm sure there's gonna be many more vitamins and other things that we're gonna be giving him to keep him healthy. See how he's crossing his back legs? That's another thing that I've been noticing. He's just very awkward with his back legs. Did you like it? Was it good? Yeah. So thanks so much for watching our first video. Um, stay tuned. Um, there's a lot more things that I want to talk about and go over. There's a lot of things that I've learned in the last couple of days. Um, and we will continue to see how this all pans out.